of the week tonight coming out of Orange County where the Bridge City Cardinals, they'd be hosting the high-flying Newton Eagles. Newton coming in with two big wins, first against Silsby and then against Dymo. Absolutely, and of course, get to the action from Larry Ward Stadium in Bridge City and unfold this one for you. There's the preseason rank number one, Newton Eagles, and one reason they're so good that salty defense. The Cardinals' Caleb Dubois, he's going to get chased out of the pocket here. He finally gets rid of it, but it's right in the hands of Kamaja Brown. So a drive that was looking pretty good that ends with an interception. And that led to this. Quarterback Josh Foster is going to keep it himself, and after a couple of nifty moves, Foster is off to the house. Covering about 80 yards for the touchdown. Nice run. Nice run. Newton on the board first. Eagles weren't finished either. You see what Foster can do with his legs? Well, here's what he does with his arm. Perfectly placed in the hands of Noah Williams. Williams gets Newton to the 10-yard line, and Darwin Burrow finishes off the drive. better on defense but on offense we're playing really good right now we can score at any time uh, really we're turning into a throwing team and how many times have you ever heard Newton say that we can throw the ball really well we got two or three guys it's hard to cover our quarterbacks throwing the ball really well Josh Foster and uh, it makes the running game a lot easier I think Darwin had probably over 200 yards tonight but it all come off throwing and uh, it's not like the old Newton where you can put everybody up there because that's what we want because we're gonna throw it over your head scoring three touchdowns before the half. What did you say to your players in the locker room to keep that momentum going to score half a hundred on them? <laughs> we wanted to try to score, just keep going our offense. We wanted to go three quarters 
and that's what we did. We, we kind of slacked off the fourth quarter. We put a bunch of kids in and we get to play, but we wanted to play for three quarters and uh, to keep throwing the ball and everything for three quarters, and that's what we did. Part of those 55 points, I have uh, Darwin Barrow over here, the running back that you can run like no other, sir. So tell me, what was it like running, scoring these touchdowns today? Just the linemen blocking for me and all glory to God. It's just my linemen, they just block. They give their heart to, they, for me to run the ball, and I just do it. Facing these chambers next week, so what are you looking forward to when the Bucks come to town? We just got to work hard all week at practice. We got to go hard. No off days. Coach, East Chambers, East Chambers next week. What are you looking forward to playing the Bucks? They've always played us really tough through the years. Um, I don't, I haven't seen them on tape yet, so I can't really say. Uh, but they've always, you know, played us pretty good. I know their kids always play hard, and they do a good job coaching. I'm sure they'll have them ready to play. We'll have to play. All right, Coach. Thank you guys both so much. We look forward to it next week. Thank we you. will be there covering it for sure. Thank, Thank you guys. Good luck. Enjoy this win, okay? Take two. All right, girls. Tonight our word of the week is hang time. Does anyone know what that is? Yes. yes. It's where you kick the ball. That's how long the ball goes in there. Be like maybe when they punt it or kick it, how long the ball's in the air? <laughs> no, who told you that? My brain. <laughs> hang time. I know. <laughs> you throw it, you want it to not stay in the air as long. When kicking, you want it to hang up there for a while.